here with Sue, and this is Get Sold. And I want to ask my guides what we should talk about today, or my higher self. Just real quick, a quick message. So much going on in the world, and I know I've been hyper-focused on myself. And trying to get some videos out for Soul 2K. I think we balanced a lot of karma with our properties. I think things are getting better, I'm hoping. What do I tell the world? What do the guides want me to to pass along? All right, let's go ask. I keep hearing we are not emoting in a proper way. And by emoting, it means processing emotion. And I mean, that's an obvious thing, but sometimes I think we need to say it because what's happening right now is we are being pushed the energies that come in uh, from the solar flashes and Mother Earth, it's never been more important to get on that ground with your bare feet and raise your electromagnetic energy that Mother Earth gives us. We're part of the Earth. We were made to be on Earth, so we've been provided with plants, nature, Earth's electromagnetic when we breathe in. That's creator source energy. I know I've talked about that before. But the emoting part is something that I know when you go through hell, a lot of hell, you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. You feel like I've done my time, I'm done emoting, I'm done crying, I'm done getting frustrated. But what I noticed was I was more stubborn about being emotional about the things that I didn't know how to get past. So my good friend, Miss Ingrid, had taught me how to tap them out. So what she had shown me to do is when something comes up, like really emotional, really tough to deal with, yes, you kind of have to get to the root of it and clear it, but she taught me to tap on both my arms and feel that emotion, name it. What, it, what is it, what is it? You don't have to necessarily relive it, but when it comes up, tap it out, tap it out. And that was a way that she was shown her guide, so I hope she doesn't mind if I share this with you. Um, but it's, I always thought I had to suffer more. I always thought I had to live suffering, that that was my duty to God or something, like to emote for everyone. Well, no, everyone has to do their share. I can't do it for everybody. Not that I was acting egotistical about it because I just didn't know how to be happy. But I just feel that that's real important right now because if you can't tell, and I'm sure you can, People are getting attitudes, people are getting angry over little things, and we have to have patience because we're gonna be that one day. Well, we're gonna get mad over something. We're gonna get road rage. We're gonna, just because somebody did something, you know, without thinking or because they were emoting and not harnessing it, not understanding it. And I know I live my life as like a freaking wild gun, you know, like the next person, boom, you're it, you know? And, and I didn't know how to be happy. I didn't know how to harness it. And a lot of it now is me rewiring my brain, which takes an incredible amount of energy, like a lot of energy. And you have to want to. You don't, I mean, everybody's an asshole at some point or another. And we're supposed to forgive that in each other when that happens. But a lot of times it triggers other people. So it's like popcorn, you know, everybody's doing it. But at some point, those who are anchored more strongly and understand emoting properly, they know that you're gonna have that moment where you're just gonna poof, and they're not going to take it personally. They're not going to be like, oh, you're a jerk. They're going to be like, okay. You know, and they might go somewhere quiet or whatever and then just cut the cord. But this is what we all need to do. This is where we're headed. This is where we have to recognize if somebody gets mad at you. I had a guy the other day, I went down to one of the apartments. And it was weird because in the old days, I would have just, I would have, my whole day would have been shot over this. But he was parked in a place that our tenants generally park. And it's public road, so can't do anything about it. But in the past, I had triggers where I would defend our tenants to the end. That's it. If you rent from us, we're going to do everything. That was my advocacy coming out, one of the um, archetypes I chose in this lifetime. But it was not being used properly. It was kind of my ego, kind of making sure that the people stayed with us so that they would still, you know, pay, you know, not cause us financial hardship. So it was all done for the wrong reason. So this guy started swearing at me. F you this, F you, I'll park here. You call the police, it's public road. I'm like, whoa, like somebody has, you know, poison in their cornflakes or something. 
but I didn't take it. I, I went back with a few because I figured, well, okay, generally don't go down on their level. But I'm like, because I'm usually, I, in the past was weak, I said, no, I'm going to meet him where he's at. But I'm not going to take it personal. I'm not going to walk around with this all day and be like, that freaking, you know what. No, I, I kind of chuckled later on going, wow, that's really an angry person. Instead of blaming myself and being like, wow, you know, what did I do to deserve that? You know, the victim mode. That's how I was, you know, 20 years ago with this stuff. Like, what did I do to deserve that? And I'm going to fight harder and blah, blah, blah. No, I just kind of gave him back a couple little FUs. Like, we own the building. He didn't believe it because he'd only been down there two years. I've been in the trenches for almost 30. But it's just after, you know, I can say this all the time. After my parents died, I couldn't manage the properties anymore. I was done. There was too many things with probate and battles and this and that that I was still, you know, in a bad place. So anyways, that's my message for today. I guess that's what the guides want me to bring up. Uh, something I'm going through, learning to harness as well. Um, yesterday was a great example. I passed the test finally. After 30 years, I passed the test not to take it on. And just let that person have their moment, if you will. And I was the strong one where it's like, okay, you can shoot me, but I got my shield on. You know, I may point the gun back, but I'm not taking it seriously and I'm not going to do any damage with it. I just want you to know that I have boundaries too. And whether you think because I'm a woman you can talk to me that way or, you know, because I didn't initially say anything rude to him. I just said, you know, I'm going to be showing the unit. Could you move your car? And then it was pull out both guns and shoot me dead. So, but I didn't do like I used to do in the past and take it personally like I am the victim. No, I'm happy to say I've rewired my brain to understand I am not the victim, but I do have stuff to work through too, you know, so. All right, that's it. Love you all. Thank you. I hope this message finds you well. I hope it's something that you can understand in a way because God knows I could have wished I had somebody telling me this even 20 years ago, but man, I'm either a slow learner. Or I have to say I'm more Taurus stubborn than anything, you know. Okay, love you all. Thank you, and join me again for another episode.